akwa ba kesi be ni ba ADOM TV so Adum TV so be jonju me die so dia wo kensi mu sempan sa kene no penso jawo e din di Enoch kwesi Wolanyo Wallace agudi catch ba kope the only nomenclature of the professor's degree in sports the al regina Wallace and me sin kunya kwane kwantin kwane sma odun sa kene no penso e jawo channel sma me say Jefferson Health Limited omo techi wa for her ban so ebo echi dom na fi one expert have always told you that betting is better than saka wa bo modern da wo sika atwa ne befu ne din befu ne beti aboa e ma niam atia to yedi amao a journey of a thousand kilometers begins with very first step. Pensha si e mfmfi afcon qualifies 2021. Akin si e kesi njamia duma kamaru for akan tamadi si e si njamia duma be first year mister swabwa e maniama etiyo kui. Sani yuma akin si no ane nua blasters of Ghana eko pi mu el Sudan ayi kwe friends e umduman e ho ana omo edi second leg encounter ni twenty times so. 90 minutes of soccer fiesta resting and sending to Koya. I can see the band of you know. Let's say Muhammad Abdul Rahman, or Poso Ghana Tina Bakwa. If you will be a Nadi Tinati Sakano, I was in a Yama Isia Koso, I was in Ghana. Ghana looking to seal their place in the finals. Uber Veluds Sudan are trying to challenge. For a top two finish, they've got a long way to That's go. That's a lovely first touch by Ekiban, who's recovered from the knock. Caleb Ekiban takes on the shot. He's in comes the shot. Dan and Abdul Rahman does very well. And now there's going to be a chance for Abdul Rahman to open the scoring. Dowder smothers it. Abdul Rahman crosses and it's a Wakaso. Great ball by Wakaso, but the goalkeeper sweeps up very well. Abu Good skill. Jordan Ayu shoots. And that's the first in Suning. With the free kick, it's on target, and that's a great save. Really good save. Good cross here on oh, headed over the bar. Abdul Rahman. Good skill. Could be a chance here, just needs a finish. On the turn and wide. It's Ayu. It's on target. And Abu Shrek. And it comes again. Oh, great cross. And Sudan get the goal. In added time, Abdul Rahman who has been their outstanding player all match, and look at the scenes of jubilation from the Sudanese. They do. There is the final whistle. Ghana have been stunned by Sudan at Al Hilal Stadium. Abdul Rahman with the 91st minute winner. Sudan won, Ghana nil, and Group C is blown. In the next season, I will rest on the MSC course. Ghana was stopped by Suban. Now, I will be able to get back to Muhammad Abdel Rahman. I will be able to get back to Muhammad Abdel Rahman. I will be able to get back to Muhammad Abdel Rahman. I will be able to After the game, Coach C.K. Akono, Ghana Black Stars head coach, Edna Kumujai, I will be able to get back to Sudan. I will be able to get back to the game. In all, we did well. Um, we lost to a team that showed more hunger than us, uh, not because we didn't want to do anything, win. Of course we wanted to win, but if I look at the way we played uh, in Ghana and the way we played here, I feel there's, there's a bit of improvement in terms of containing pressure and, and all that. But uh, um, of course also the way we prepared before these two uh, assignments was, was not an easy, easy one. And so at the end we, we had more uh, the industry guys that we need, you know, those we need to be on board and, you know, they came in. Unfortunately, they did their best, but it wasn't enough. Those who also who had the chance to play um, did their part. But of course, it's not, it wasn't enough for us to, to carry the day. Um, of course, we play without many key players and uh, the, cap the likes of the captain, Kudus and, and other, other people. And so, uh, looking at all this, I, I strongly believe, I believe that we did well. Um, what I can say is that uh, we learn from this mistake, from the mistakes we've made, and of course, we, in March we have two match, match, uh, matches coming on, and uh, I strongly believe, and I can assure any 
Ghanaians that will, will do our best to, to, to qualify. After uh, the Turkey friendlies, um, there were a lot of uh, issues concerning this, uh, the COVID. Um, Jordan, Edu, and the rest. But I must be honest, I must show, uh, I'm, I'm grateful for the fact that they, they all came. They tried to come. Those who were not able to get here on time, they still fought with their clubs to come down. And, and that is something we can appreciate. Of course, they came. We won the first match. Of, we didn't have enough enough uh, group of players. By the time we were coming to Sudan, I mean the likes of uh, Wakaso, Majida, Ashimeru, and others joined us on. on I think the, the day we played Thursday, and Wakaso and the rest came on on the on Saturday or something. So it's it's, it's been a, a very difficult one. Uh, for me, for myself, uh, as a coach, to get the boys on board, and of course to put on board what what ought to be done on the field of play. And so we've 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 had some train few training sessions. Based on these facts, I think one can only appreciate what they've done. I mean, if you look at the way they fought today, uh, under un uncomfortable conditions, you know, the weather itself, and and how these guys tried to frustrate us, and you know. And, uh, the Sudanese tried to frustrate us before even the match and all that. I think they, they, they've done well and I, I really, really appreciate the effort. We are not in normal, normal times and I think you can only appreciate what, what they've done. Some of them had it through journey and they still uh, risked to, to come and so I am happy. I strongly believe that once we, we get ourselves, well now we're used to the situation, the FA, myself, the players, I hope that uh, in March, before we, we assembled again, the COVID will be a bit less and we'll, we'll know how to take care of ourselves in, the, in that area. And, and so we'll, we'll have a lot of uh, numbers, we'll come on time and we'll prepare. And I can assure that we, we will qualify. We will do well against South Africa, we'll do well against South Tome and, and we'll qualify for the AFCON. We'll qualify. We'll do that. I can assure we will qualify, and but of course we have to do a bit of work. Uh, we will not qualify verbally, but we have to work, work hard to 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 get there. Which I am very very certain. I'm certain that we will qualify. Yeah. Jiku has been outstanding, you know, in at the back, and I'm happy that he is he's done so well. I was even surprised, you know, because of the heat. You know, he's, this is somebody who was born in Europe and and. You didn't really see much of of uh, of him struggling you know, until he, he got injured. Uh, Tariq is also doing well, uh, but the, the fact is the players also embrace them that they are here to to help uh, the nation and to do well for for us. And, and I think it's, it's been it's been good. It is difficult because it's African pride. You know, when you get to the Afcon, it's something different. It's just like a European. Uh, uh, competition or European Cup and all that and so this is ours so everybody wants to get there and therefore it, it's it's meant that you have to prepare well you have to do all you can to qualify and, and that is what Sudan did today they are out if you look at the table they are they were they were out should they uh, should they lose today they would, would have been out now it's open and so they never give up and that is the spirit the Africans the African teams have and we have to look at ourselves and, and and look at it from a different perspective. What we've achieved the past years, and, and, and now we are in the qualifiers, we are on top, we have to continue to maintain that level. And see, Coach CK, I can after the game, on the central for a train, I'm not sure whether or not I say a tough mom, Kakra, or Jume Dio Mudino, where he played a bit, said Jukua, or also for Europe, a baby P. Mosa, Kensi Martin, San Paso, Sudan, whether or not. And see more what the Muswe Shaka Kran as the name of the Timidian Mukusi say, will pray. Umujidi passing a Miadoma, Ghana beating a qualify for a cup of nations. I can't see a day in the middle.